What's going on, YouTube? It is December the 8th, and it is raining, guys. And it's raining all day long. We got five jobs today, and everybody's confirmed. That's the one thing about when you got those good quality customers, unless it's just like an emergency, they already, you know, they already have all the furniture moved. They already got the uh, carpets pre bad They are ready. They're ready, and they're excited to get their carpets clean. So anyway, I was talking to one of my colleagues last night. And you know, again, it's more than carpet cleaning. Next year, guys, I'm taking it to a whole nother level because doing a good job, cleaning the carpets is not something we should brag about. Yes, we feel good about it because we want people to be excited. We want people to love our work, but it goes deeper than just the cleaning. One of my situations or um uh, uh, topics that I was talking to my colleague last night is van lettering. Having your name on your van. How important is that? I think it's 100% important. I see a few guys, well I don't say a few guys, a lot of guys in this industry driving around with plain white vans. And you know what sometimes customers relate those to? Uh, the raper vans. <laughs> That's what they say, the raper vans. They're all white. Um, guys, I think putting your name on your van is very important. It lets people know who you are. You're driving through neighborhoods all day with kids. Um, you want to have your name on your van. Even my subs that sub for me, they put magnetics on their vans for my company and their company. So when they're working for me, they have my magnetics on their vans. Um, I'm going to tell you a little story. When I first got my ProMaster, my, uh, my ProMaster, I pulled up to a lady's car, a house. She was a referral. And anyway, I did some services for her. You know what she told me after the services? She said the cleaning was great. You were so professional. She loved my setup. She loved the cellar door, of course. Uh, but you know what she told me? She said, and, th and I was so happy that she was honest with me. She said, my only complaint is there is no lettering on the van. Now, I had to explain to her that the van was new. I just got it, and I'm in the pro I was in the process of getting it designed uh, for the wrap. But for a customer to tell me that, it lets me know how many more people think just like that. They just don't tell us. So, guys, again, well, let's get deeper than the cleaning. Because if you got the right equipment, the right products, um, the right techniques, we should do a good job. You should do a good job. Uh, again, guys, got all my equipment over here, all my products, loads and loads of products that I love. You know, Soap Daddy, Bunnit Pro, all kind of products that I just, um, helps make my job easier for me. But again, it goes deeper than just the cleaning. How do customers really see you as a professional? That's the question we should be asking ourselves. I had a customer that called yesterday. I'm going to take care of her today. She has an emergency, a wool rug. This lady told me she did not care about the price. She said, she, I found you on next door. You came highly recommended. I've done my research. I read some of your reviews, and you just seem like the perfect person that I can work with. That means a lot to me. Then when I pull up in my van, it's lettered up. It looks professional. It look, It's clean. Um, I've done videos about that before. Keep your vans clean. Keep it washed. Because customers look at that. But like I said, how important are letters? How important is it to have your company information on your van? Guys, it's very important. I don't even think that's a question we should ask ourselves. So if you don't if you don't if you don't have vinyl letters, if you I mean I'm not even saying go get a wrap, you know. At least get some magnetics. When I had my old E two fifty van, I lived in a neighborhood where I could not have a letter truck in the neighborhood. But you know what I would do, guys? I would get magnetics. Let me put my hoodie on, because like I said, guys, it is raining. Ah. So, oh, yeah, matter of fact, that's, that's my sub right there. Hold on, I'll call him back. Um, he got to go do a big job today. <laughs> it's like a 900, 9,000 square foot home. Uh, but anyway, I would get magnetics that will like cover up the whole back side of my van with my inf information on it and I will um, I will put those magnetics on and off every day I did that for like two years and sometimes they would get messed up uh, a few times they would fall off but I would just go get more because again pulling up in people's homes I wanted them to know who you know 
who Truman Steamers uh, was. I didn't want to just pull up in an all-white band because, again, people look at that. Um, and, and that's something that we should care about as true professionals. So, guys, if you don't have letters on your vans, I mean, again, I don't know why you should. But if you don't, guys, get it. I mean, vinyl is really like becoming outdated you can get someone to put vinyl letters on your van for three four hundred bucks um and if you don't want to do that just go get some magnetics put two on each side maybe on the doors and maybe one on the back i mean you just do it because again you want customers to look at you as a true professional not just someone who's driving around in a van with some equipment um because i'm telling you man you'll be surprised how many people will judge you from that so, guys, that's just my little tip of the day. Like I said, we got five today. Let me call my sub back, see what's going on. Because he has a job. He has to do uh, some rugs and some talent grout. And like I said, he's going to be doing a big home. Uh, that, <laughs> that customer called me. And uh, a lot of guys, man, a lot of guys brag about doing big houses. Oh, uh, big houses. Uh, guys, one thing about Courtney, Courtney never brags about big, doing, doing big houses. Because honestly, I don't like doing them. Um, the house that my buddy's doing next week is starting to fill up. Oh, he's at that job now, so let me call him back. That's the house he's doing right now, my, bu my uh, technician. almost nine thousand square feet so that house is probably three sides as my house all right guys let me call kevin back see what's going on and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching youtube